What's up and welcome guys, I'm Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and today we are taking you on an exciting food tour of a very cool spot just outside of Taipei. We are in Jofan, which is a place famous for a lot of things, especially it's shopping, it's beautiful views and of course the amazing food. So we are really excited to explore this spot to show it to you guys and we are hungry so let's go eat. So we have our first snack today in Joe Fun, and we got something that is extremely popular here, and this is a taro and sweet potato kind of chewy soup. So if you see here, we've got all kinds of different things going on. The famous one that this shop is famous for is their taro balls, which are the chewy taro purple here, and then also, they've got sesame kind, there's some red beans, some green beans, some sweet potato balls, all kinds of different delicious things, and it's a hot soup in sort of a sugar broth. So let's take a big bite. I'm gonna go in for one of the sweet potato, one of the taro, and then some beans. Let's try that. Mmm, that's very sweet. Extremely sweet. I actually find it's pretty hard to taste the sweet potato or the taro in the chewies But it's mostly just the sugar water flavor very very sweet And then you can just definitely taste those red beans and green beans too, which are also sweet. It's very simple There's not much to it, but it's a nice little snack and we're gonna keep going today and definitely find something more substantial than this <laughs> Jofan used to be a very prosperous gold mining town, but nowadays people don't do any gold mining. Luckily, the beautiful landscapes and views make it a perfect place for tourists to come and visit and snack and shop. It is awesome here, but super busy. Okay, so we've ducked away into another one of these alleys at Joe Fun. There's so much to just explore, so many hidden little alleyways, and we just picked ourselves up another little snack, and this is a very, very famous food in Taiwan and here in Joe Fun. This is the Taiwanese tea egg. So I eat these all the time, but commonly we just eat them at 7-Eleven, but uh, the ones here are supposed to be pretty good, and fortunate for us, she's actually de-shelled this one. So you can see it's gotten this kind of braised, color. So it's braised in tea but also with a lot of spices like star anise, cinnamon, five spice, all kinds of different things. So I'm going to take a big bite and try this here. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's a good tea egg. Oh, that is actually a really, really good tea egg. That might be the best tea egg I've ever had. It's a little bit kind of earthy from that tea. Lots of like spices going on, but it's not spicy, it's just spicious. And then that yolk in the middle is still creamy. It's not like an overcooked uh, boiled egg where it's kind of crumbly, it's like creamy the whole way through. And the exterior is firm. All right, so far so good. Today has been a really awesome day of snacking and exploring Joe Fun. But we are going to pop into a little tea house here in a second and watch the sunset. It's just starting to get dark, so this was a good tea egg.
up this big pot first. Okay. And this is our Alisa Oolong tea. And every time when you put the new tea leaves inside, first round we don't drink, we wash the tea. Okay. Yeah. And up here is for air hole, so don't block it. The water won't come out. Okay. Yeah, so. And because the first time smells stronger, so we use the smelling cup first. The tall one and smelling cup? Yes. Okay. Hot. So we take it out. Okay. So we tap it out like this. And smell? And smell. Okay. Ooh. Tap it out. Oh, it smells good. So as you just saw, he came over and showed us the traditional way of how to pour oolong alishan tea. And we are in a really cool spot. We have a beautiful view behind us. It's a little cold outside, but it's the perfect way to warm up. Just come and have some traditional style tea. We smelt it, it smells really good, so now I'm just gonna try it out. You can see it's very light in color, just a little kind of yellow, almost green color, and it just smells amazing, so let's try that. Mm. Yeah, that's very light in flavor. It's subtle, there is a little bit of a bitter aftertaste, and it definitely has that earthy, kind of woody tea flavor to it, and this is just an amazing tea house, and we have all kinds of different little things. We're gonna try them out now. So we've got a couple little appetizers to go along with our tea, and this looks like a, a mochi covered in peanut powder, so I'm gonna try that first, and it looks like awesome consistency. Let's try that. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, really chewy. Sweet plum, a dried sweet plum. It's very hard, I can barely get the toothpick in there. And let's try that, it's probably gonna be a pretty strong flavor. Oh, mm. It's kinda hard to chew through. There's a pit. Mm. It's almost a little bit salty. It tastes like dried mango. It's very strong flavored, fruity, a little bit sour. And like I said, a little bit salty and sweet too. It's good. So you're definitely going to want to stay in Jofun until nighttime because all of these beautiful red lanterns light up and it just becomes even more lively than in the day. This staircase is an extremely popular place to take pictures because as you can see, it's extremely beautiful. So we've got a little bit more snacking to do. Let's go find something neat. Okay, a lot of snacking going on today in Jofun, and we've got another very popular dish here in Taiwan, and this is the classic stinky tofu. So it is a fermented tofu that's fermented in all kinds of interesting ingredients. If you haven't seen it already, I made a full video just with stinky tofu, but this one seemed very interesting. I've never seen anything like it. So as you can see, she's got it braising in a ton of sauce. So it's a brown colored sauce, a little bit oily looking, and then, Normally, stinky tofu will be topped with some of this pickled cabbage and it looks like carrots here too, but this is just such a juicy looking stinky tofu and honestly, I, I love stinky tofu. So I'm just gonna go in for a big bite of this here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh man, that's a good tofu. It's really kind of crumbly tofu on the inside, firm though, but extremely juicy from that sauce she's braising it in. So I think it's kind of a mixture of some vinegar and soy. It's a little bit sour, that sauce, but really it's all about that tofu and how well it just absorbs the flavor of that sauce. Mm. 
So it's not actually as stinky, I guess. There's not as much of a stench as some of the other stinky tofus we've tried. Just having a boiled stinky tofu is extremely smelly. And even the deep fried kind is more smelly than this. You can definitely taste a little bit of fermented flavor going on there, but it's, it's subtle. It's not overpowering. Okay, so we are on our way out of Joe Fun. We had an awesome day and we just picked up one more snack to have. We have some Taiwanese sausage on a stick. We've got this kind, which is the regular pork sausage. And then we have another interesting one, which I've actually never tried before. This is a squid ink with pork sausage. So you can see it's got that black color. So let's try this sausage out. Cool. Mm. Oh, that's hot, fresh. Mm. All right, that is an awesome sausage. It's almost a little bit caramelized on the exterior. There's a little crisp crunch on the exterior as well, and it's sweet the whole way through. Nice kind of Taiwanese flavors going on in there. So let's try this squid ink sausage, which is really interesting, and I've never had this before, so let's try it out. Hmm. Okay. Mm. The squid ink flavor is very subtle. I don't actually taste it very much. It's not seafoody whatsoever. It's almost a little bit bitter, but really it's the same flavor as that other sausage, just with a really cool color. And these sausages are awesome. We had an awesome day here in Joe Fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave us any questions in the comment section down below and subscribe for more videos like this. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.